Hey everybody, as you can see, we are live again right here in the kitchen. So welcome to another breakfast edition. So today we are going to make corn cakes. Now I'm going to do this different because normally the recipe calls for flour in the corn cake along with the corn meal. But since I don't do that, I'll get the eggs out in a minute. And I'm going to substitute the oil with honey. And as you notice, I don't show my labels. As you notice that, no label, no front label at least. So to substitute out the flour, right, I added at least three fourths of a cup extra of the cornmeal, which I will go ahead and put in the bowl. As you can see right there so like I said uh, in the past if you do really have the wheat allergy make sure that you have a way that you can substitute that with something else or if you're like me and you don't use granulated sugar you now myself and I already brought this up stairs from from my uh, raw sugar that I use, <laughs> and I use raw sugar in my coffee. And raw sugar isn't as harsh as granulated sugar. Granulated sugar is like a bleached product. And you know, raw sugar in a cup. In fact, I'll bring the camera over to, to this. So give me a moment here. <laughs> Put that down. Bring the camera over to that and I shall switch it. So the granulated sugar, as you can see, would be white opposed to the raw sugar, which is more tan and or brown. Back to my mug. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so where this only costs, calls for a fourth of a cup, which I probably brought more than that up here anyway. Let me grab something to mix this up real quick. And you guys will notice sometime I'll mix with a fork opposed to a spoon. And yeah, I'll do that. And the reason that I do that is actually to break things down a little bit that in there because that's not granulated sugar and the chemical compositions of stuff is extremely different extremely different cooking is a complete science it is absolutely a complete science I'm going to put that up here out of the way so I'll go back down with me when I go back down I'm going to go back down to where I rent um yes I use the kitchen up here, but I read the basement. I help my friend take care of his father. Well, I'm friends with his family. So, and yes, I am adding, of course, that cinnamon. Cinnamon. The company is not my sponsor. I'm going to add that in. Adding in that cinnamon, the antioxidants off that cinnamon like I've said, is great joint health. And, oh my gosh, just the smell off of this is really great. And this is going to be really good, sided with maple sausage. It's not one of those just off-brand, and I'm not going to say the brand because they're not my sponsor. My sponsor. So we are going to add, and since I can't show the brand name of this, okay, since it says three teaspoons, which I think is kind of much of this, I don't really think I'm going to add that much because I didn't add that much of that in there. I'm going to kind of off. Offset that I'm only going to put one and 
and a half of the baking powder in there because when you're not doing the complete measurement of a recipe you kind of have to recalculate what you're putting into something so when you have to recalculate your recipes because that means you're really making your own recipe you have to recalculate a measurement you have to do the math the science in your food so let me put these away real quick it's right here it's about that easy <laughs> Let's not forget vanilla, vanilla, oh, uh, you know what though? Do we want vanilla in this? Why the heck not, right? Why the heck not? We're going to add some honey into it. Why not add vanilla? Let me grab those eggs real quick because I only need one egg. <laughs> Now, when doctors talk about cholesterol and eggs, always ask your doctor, is it my good cholesterol or is it my bad cholesterol? That's always a good thing to ask your doctor. Now, I had to ask my doctors because they went to put me on cholesterol meds. And that was a mistake made me deadly sick so that was their mistake that was their error that was their error in judgment um it could have eventually killed me if i had continued to take what made me sick always question a medication that can make you sick i stopped taking it i went back to the doctor and i asked why is why is this medication making me sick did you check my good cholesterol because you told me that my cholesterol was high but you didn't tell me which one my good cholesterol or my bad cholesterol they had to reevaluate that and they're like oops we're sorry we told you the wrong one and put you on that medication Always question your doctor when they go to put you on a medication. Ask them, is it the good cholesterol or is it the bad cholesterol? Never be afraid to ask. The same thing goes with your thyroid. Never, ever be afraid to ask. Is it your, your T levels between T3 and T3? six. I'm about to grab milk. Be right back. Now the milk I'm using in this because I'm lactose intolerant. I'll have sometimes. I'll eat cheese. <sighs> is that almond milk? And you know what? Maybe I don't need the vanilla. You know why? This is vanilla almond milk. So, yeah, that goes. And like I said, I'm going to be putting the almond milk in because this recipe does call for milk. And I'm not going to put that much in, really, because I don't have that much in the bowl. And if I need more, I'm going to put my ingredient away because it's cold. And I like to keep my almond milk cold in the first place. But before I do the almond milk in here, I am going to go ahead and put in my honey. Now my honey is replacing the oil. I don't like to put oil in anything. In fact, in fact, my honey replaces oil in cake. Now if I'm baking cake for somebody and I know that they have a health problem, they never know there's no oil in their cake. It's replaced by honey. And you know what though? This actually makes your cake moister. And by the way, shh, makes it taste better. <laughs> yes, it does. 
And plus, you're getting the nutrients off of it. Yes, you are. Bees do take the best pollen off of plants and make really good nutritional substance for humans. So, yay for uh, our bee harvesters. They're good people. And uh, now I've already sprayed the pan here. So I will adjust the camera in a few minutes when I go to put the uh, this down in there, the batter down in there. Now, originally I was going to make kind of like a uh, corn batter and just put kind of like a, uh, well, I'll admit it, I was going to make the sausages and the cornmeal kind of make it like a, uh, well, corn dog. But I was like, you know what, no, because then I have to use all this oil, and that's a lot of saturated fat, and I really want to stay away from that. Something I really and truly want to stay away from. So what are we going to do? We're just going to make corn cakes a lot healthier for a diet need. It really, really is. And especially on a hot day like this, why would you want to eat something so saturated in fat and cholesterol? When we really want to keep that low. Now, the other thing is, when you do cooked fruit dishes, you can actually freeze them. You can put those in your freezer Ziploc bags, um, put the dates on them, and that would be something that you can put on the stove, thaw it out that way and put it over your corn cakes. It would be great. It really would. That's a whole other episode that I will teach you guys because I have some stuff coming up and we will get into those later on. So yeah, that'll be great for everybody. So I will show you this mixture. Oh my gosh. You know what? Looks like it's about ready. Looks like it's about ready. I might have to add some extra cornmeal into this. Yes, I might have to. It looks like it's a little, little thin. That's what I'm saying. This is science. Like in, in chemistry class, when you had to be really careful with this stuff because you, you had to be really careful. So you had to play with chemical compositions of things. And, uh, gee. Or in, well, I didn't take uh, cooking classes in school. I went to 4 H. The people that raised me took me out of it, I guess, because I was too good. Oh my gosh, I was the best at sewing, the best at cooking. I can make hot chocolate like nobody's business. Okay, well, that's just about there. A little bit more of the cornmeal. Now, I'm not going to use a cornstarch in this. Now, everybody would be like, oh, well, why don't you use a cornstarch? Well, that's a starch. And cornmeal is just the milk because, you know, it's yellow, yellow. And the starch as well. You're going to get a starch off of this anyway. Sorry for the label. Sorry, I meant to show you the back. This is not a sponsor, and I'm going to say that now since you accidentally saw the label. And I really don't like, I don't like the label anyway. We're not mascots. Seriously, we are not your mascot. Or your costume, for that matter. Okay, now that they reconnected me. This. So... Okay, it's thicker now. Just had to rotate my device for them to reconnect me. Okay, I will show you this. This is a lot thicker. Now, if it's thick like that, and it's just on a fork. Okay, thick like that on a fork. Okay, 
block it that real slick. Anyone that's watched the old channel knows I always wash my stuff. That's just the habit, Rabbit. Okay, now that we're going to do this, I will readjust the camera like this so that you can actually see. Hopefully I can do this a lot better. Actually see over here. If you can't see it, you can just leave that in the comment below, but I will let you guys see as I'm going along. Sorry, I had to take care of one more thing. Um, so, I'm just going to take this cup right here and just scoop it up in the measuring cup. And we're just going to uh, take that over here and just simply take that in the pan and make the cake. I'll bring the camera over here so that you guys can see the, the corn cake that I've laid out. Now I'm not going to make very big ones for me. I'm going to make some big ones for my friend. He took his dad to the dentist so I promised him some corn cakes and sausage. So bring the, uh, the camera over here for you. And I'll show you a shot of that corn cake right here. Do you see that? that That's pretty nice. Yeah, you always get those little scraggles. <laughs> and everybody even gets that with their pancakes. Now, we all know the first one never comes out correctly at first. Everybody knows this even with their pancakes. So, back to my mug. Not a thug, but back to my mug. Everybody knows I'll even show you the finished product afterwards. So we'll show you the corn cakes and then I'll move along to, well, I've shown the sausage before when cooking it. It's just going to be the same technique. After doing the corn cakes, I'm going to put the sausage in and of course I'll add in the water. That way, when cooking it, the the water will be in there to steam it. And then, of course, you know, if I decide if I decide to eat eggs, I may not because you know I'm not really that hungry today. I woke up, you know, uh, I was like, you know, I just may want corn cake and just the sausage, and I may not want the added protein because. I don't know, but my friend wants the egg, but that's fine for him. On some days, you you know, you may want to plan this out the day before, but you may change your mind the previous day on something you, you want. So, somebody replied to something, um, but that's okay. But here in a minute, I have to flip this because it's already rising. I'll show you how this is rising. I will, I will show you. This is rising. You see that? How like the edge is a little golden now. And and how that's puffing up in the middle. Now you see like the bubbles in the middle. That means that it's just about ready to be flipped. That is, that's just about ready to be flipped. So when you see those little bubbles in the middle like that, and let me readjust that that is incorrect. That means that it's just about ready to be flipped. Now, well, we all know that those little ones are. But, uh, yeah, 
So, like I said, we all know that first one. Oh, here we go. It flipped just nice. I'll show that one to you, of course. I know you guys are like, okay, how'd that turn out? That's how it turned out. And we all know that's how the first one turns out. It's not always perfect. This is supposed to be a non-stick pin. Now we all know non-stick is not always non-stick. It's always sticking to something at some point. At some point in time, it's always sticking to something. So, yeah. But that did turn out pretty good for the first one. So, yeah, that said right there, that's not too bad. So, you know, I'm trying to stay positive. Like I said, I'm going to be ignoring negative people. Negative people, just like whatever. They can be negative on their own time. Know what I mean? Anyway, so let's all be positive people here. Makes the world better. <laughs> Am I right? Positivity makes the world better. Making my friends like. Yes, it does. Positivity makes the world better. So, since I'm making his plate, I will go ahead and check. Check the other side of that. See, once you flip it once, not going to take too long for that other side. And it really didn't. It did not take too long for that other side. That other side's already done. It matches the first side. Yes, it does. So, turn the heat down. And get the other ones going. Because... As you let this sit, and I'll show you this, as you let this sit, it literally thickens up. It literally does. So for that corn cake batter, it literally thickens up. It literally does. So, And if you're able to, you know, if you have a bigger pan, you can do a couple of these at a time. Or you can do a bigger one, you can do a smaller one, depends on how you want to do them. If you have kids, you could do the uh, the little ones for their little hands, you know, which is always great. If you have children, and this is what I used to do for my kids when they were little, is make, make the little ones. It's called the silver dollar pancakes. And you can do the same thing with these, is just make those little ones for their little hands. And they're, they're happy with that. You know, you can put fruit in them. And kids are just delighted to have that. They don't really care. They're eating something, but they, they don't know they're getting their vitamins. Oh, but you're putting fruit in there and they think that's just the sweetest thing in the world to them. It's like candy. And, you know, you're making your kids so happy. They're getting these little, little tiny treats. It's a pancake or a corn cake. I always made corn cakes for my kids more than pancakes. And I would put blueberries in there. Or I would put blueberries and strawberries in there. And... I would always make sure that they had something with an iron source in it because I was anemic. I still have bouts with anemia every once in a while. So I would make sure that they would always have a good uh, diet with something that was calcium and iron fortified so that they wouldn't have to deal with that. And, you know trying to raise them right with a good diet. So yeah, they, they definitely wouldn't have to deal with that. So yeah, you, you can definitely make your kids happy with that. Or let's say you have a senior parent with uh, dementia 
or Alzheimer's that's reversing back into being a child. And you need to get them to eat something, make the silver dollar pancakes. And they'll sit there, they'll eat them, but they're not thinking about it. They're not thinking about it. That is a great way to get them to eat something. You can take an oatmeal mixture with it. We'll get into that on another one. And uh, you can take an oat mixture to do that. Let's oh, see, these turned out great too. I'll show you that in a minute. Because I made a bigger one and a smaller one. These, you know, let me bring the camera over to that. And I did just just to show you guys. There you go, a big one and a small one. Yeah, the small one has a smaller one on it by accident. But hey, this is to give you guys the idea. You know how you can uh, make them happier with that. Like I said, this got thicker. This did. This got thicker, and it's gonna get thicker as it sits there. The sausage is not a sponsor. That's why I'm not going to show that label. And um, either is anything else that's sitting there. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit while, while we're doing that. So that you know how to uh, help other people's health should they need it. And, yeah, yeah I mean, you can add in... You could add the turmeric to this. Turmeric will not affect the flavor. You already saw me adding in the cinnamon. Now, you you could add blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries into this. You can do them fresh rather than frozen. Or you could take out the frozen ones. Let them thaw. Just let them thaw. Add it into the batter. And then go ahead and put the batter into the pan. Or when they're thawed, you put the batter in there and just put them in there and then it'll just go ahead and puff up around it. And then, you know, you're sitting there, your kids are sitting there, they're thinking, okay, they have this magnificent five-star restaurant, meal sitting in front of them. They're going to go wild over it better than, better than uh, some of these restaurants, you know. Some of these restaurants where you're paying outrageous prices where you can just do this at home. And you're not having to worry about, hey, how much did I spend when I can just do this at home and get back into home cooking. There's nothing wrong with home cooked meals. There's nothing wrong with knowing, knowing what actually goes into your food. Think about that. Food for thought. Food for thought. There you go. Charlene's food for thought. Um, knowing what goes into your food, I think, is very very important. Very, very important. Knowing what goes into your food is very, very important. Knowing who touched your food. Um, I have actually worked in the food industry. I've seen a lot of people do some nasty stuff to other people's food. And I didn't like what they did. I don't like what they did. I've had managers grope me. I've had a boss literally come up and sniff me just because of my scent and because of where I shopped for my soap and lotion. Okay, well, that was creepy. It was like, Dude, what are you doing? And he's like, you come in here and, and you, you look the way you look, you know, you smell the way you smell. And he's like, why do you do that to tease me? And I'm like, dude, this isn't for you. It's for me because I like the scent for myself. It's not for you. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I thought you did that for me. No, self-centered. You know, um, don't let people ever 
ever, ever, ever. And I mean this. Don't let people bully you and put you down. You know, for a little while there, and I actually have to get back to these paintings. I, I was being put down for a painting that I was working on, and so I painted over it just with solid paint and then the image started to show through a little bit so that must be a sign must be a sign of you need to get back into it never put your brush down so it's back to uh, the batman i shall go Back to the Batman, I shall go. Yes. If you watched the other videos and saw that I was going to be working on the Adam West portrait, um, that uh, eventually Butch Patrick would be giving to the West family in condolence of my favorite Batman. He always made me smile. He and Burt Ward always made me smile when I was in Shriners Hospital as a child, not able to walk. You know, Batman and Robin always made me smile. And uh, I was always very grateful for that. Batman and Robin always made me smile. Still watch Batman every Every weekend, every weekend, right after Sven Gulli, right after Sven Gulli. I think Sven Gulli should show the Batman movie, the one with Adam West and Burt Ward. I think that would be great. That would be great. That one actually has Burgess Meredith, which is actually, he's from Cleveland, Ohio. He is, he is, um, and, uh, oh my gosh, everybody always thinks of this person before the other person. They always think of Julie Newmar and Eartha Kitt as Catwoman, right, before Lee Merriweather. Lee Merriweather was the first cat woman because she was so perfect. She was, she was cat woman. Lee Merriweather, you know, who knew? Well, I do. She was in the um, Batman movie with that and West and her board. And you know what? let me show you this one. Let me show you how this turned out. Like really perfect on the other side. Like I've been showing you guys the one side. Let me show you the other. See the other side? Ta da da! Perfect. See, this video today is going to go a little bit longer than the other videos. Now, usually, you guys only see like short vids, right? Am I right? Yeah, my audience only gets to see short videos. I'm going to grab that spray, like I said, hide the labels. Respray that. It's getting a little sticky now. It's like towards the end. So it is getting a little sticky. Sticky, sticky. Sticky, sticky. And this actually made, I would say six, considering that I made some small ones. I bet I made some small ones. It'll make me a good one. Good. Well, no. Three, four, no, five. I think about five. <laughs> 
this over here. Be back over there, camera in a moment. Going to be the wash up. while you're cooking while you are cooking gives you more room in in the space where you're cooking and why because you need all that space you really do you need all that space for cooking while you're cooking you really do you really really do really do so yeah never hurts never never hurts so just wait for this last one to get done and then i'll move on to the sausage that while i'm at it let me put this cornmeal away i promise i'll be right back to my camera never takes me long and see that's the other thing you're walking you're walking you're moving um, and it's great get up move around do something be active try to be as active as possible as you get older the less active you are the more problems you're going to have with your body the less active you are with age, let's say, okay, you drink something, let's say, okay, because coffee is a diuretic, this is a great way to explain something. Because coffee is a diuretic, if you don't get up and move around when you had a cup of coffee and you just sit and sit and sit and sit and sit, eventually, when you do stand up, your bells stretch and it releases that feeling in your bowel intestine that shit's about to happen. <laughs> and you're like, crap, I gotta go. <laughs> I can put it comically that way because it's actually the scientific and medical truth that shit's about to happen. So, yeah, it, it's the truth. Um, even, let's say, okay, you're, you're drinking water. Or let's say you're making a fresh fruit smoothie. You've sat for a while. Because, okay, like me, I was writing out. i got to wash my hand now. Um... Paul went out there, went outside this morning. Um, so you're you're having your fruit smoothie. So you've had all this fiber. You've sat and sat and sat. You're writing out your new your new thing for okay, like what I did for YouTube yesterday. And I'm thinking, okay, well, what do I want to do for tomorrow's thing for YouTube? So I'll write it out or I'll think it out. I had my smoothie. I stood up and I'm like, okay, I know what I have to do. In several different reasons of things I had to do at that moment. You're like, ew, gross, no. Because the body wants to function in a certain way. Not only did I have that fruit smoothie, but I had a bottle of water, well, actually a couple bottle of water at that time. 
And the body's like, hey, wake up. You got to get up. Get up. Move around. Move around. I did push-ups. I stretched my legs. And I mean like knee bends. Um, I did some back stretches because I have to be very careful with my spine. Very careful. Um, and I must have had another small seizure in my sleep last night because my lower back is hurting today. Um, you know, you, you can't really see unless you see right here. That's the strap to, to the thing that holds my back in. Um, so yeah, oh, that turned out perfect, perfect. Okay, now that we are actually done with the corn cakes, these are going to be awesome because I'm actually going to put honey on mine, so I will show you guys that when I go to plate mine up. I'm going to put my friends in the refrigerator because, you know, that's just what I'm going to do with his. And next we'll do the sausage. Now sausage has its own its own um, oils, so I'm not really worried about that. Meat has its own oil. So a lot of people will be like, "Why aren't you respraying that can?" I mean, I could, but really, meat has its own oil. And don't forget that I will be adding water into the pan. People will be adding water. I make more sausage for my friend than I do for myself. Why? He eats more than I do. Only make a couple of these for me and more for him. Because that's just how it is. It's just how that is. Now, I'll actually wrap this in saran wrap before it goes back in there. But that means you don't get to see the, the label of the saran wrap. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's right here, but there's no label. Now, sorry, still not a sponsor. Now, I always keep that in mind, like I said, because I've had people come at me recently about, oh, why are you showing that? And then I'm like, you know, you can't backlash at me for showing something because I say, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. There are some ignorant people on the internet. Ooh. Let me show you guys something. As soon as I put the water in, as soon as I put the water in, you see that? The sausage curled up. You see that? Because you can see the brown there on the sausage, but it curled up. Now, I didn't turn that. As you guys notice, I didn't turn it because I didn't have the implement in my hand to turn it. The sausage literally rolled in, turned itself in. It, it, it curved. You see that one right there? It curved. These curved as well. So, see, putting the water in the pan... like that, that will actually steam that sausage. And why? Because we're going to put that lid over it. Now see, I could have brought the liquid smoke up here to put in there, but I don't need it. Why? The reason I don't need the liquid smoke with this is because this, this already has maple. Maple is already the infused flavor with this. So 
with the maple ingredient already in there, I don't need that. So that's, that's fine. And what I'll be doing using for my plating, let me put some of these dishes away. And like I said, living in this house, there are antique dishes in this house. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? My friend's mom, bless her, she was 92. 92 years old. Bless her sweetheart. I'm not a Catholic. I'm a very spiritual person, but bless her 92 year old heart when she passed away. She was a very sweet person. I would come over here, cook something for her. Just the sweetest person in the world. Just the sweetest. See, and there you go. See, I even put stuff away while what? Cooking. Now, I'm going to go ahead and plate my pancakes. My pancakes are right here. So when I'm done with that sausage, I could just put them in there. And like I said, I will just put the honey on there. Um, sometimes I will get from an Amish market during the uh, fall and winter months. I'll get from the Amish market the uh, pumpkin butter. Yes, pumpkin butter. Pumpkin butter is fantastic. If you have an Amish market near you, I suggest pumpkin butter. It is a fantastic thing. Trust me. It is a fantastic thing. So let me check the sausage. Looks like it's almost done. So I'm hoping I can get this done before my friend gets back from the dentist with his dad. So I really am. I'm hoping I can get this done before then. Let me get this heat turned up a little. Maybe I can get it done before then. And then I can get his eggs done before, you know, they get back. Like I said, I'm not really in the mood for egg today. So I'm not going to do the egg protein for myself. I'm going to do the meat protein. And, um, don't mind me, I have weird senses. <laughs> My friend Rocco is like, you're like an alien. No, I have ears like a cat and spidey senses, so. <laughs> like, <laughs> some people swear I sleep with one eye open. And I sleep like, like I'm awake because I hear everything in my sleep. Like, I can tell. Like, if I hear one little noise, boom, I'm awake. Maybe that's just a mom thing. Like if I hear one noise while I'm sleeping, I'm awake. But I've always slept like that. Even when I was a kid, I always slept like that. Bam, I'm awake. Uh, I was never a late sleeper. Never a light sleeper. But, like I said, as soon as this is done, I may just check it. I may actually just check the sausage. You know. I may just have to check one of my sausages. And, uh, 
and see if one of my sausages are done. Whichever one I grab out of there will become my sausage. So, yeah. And yes, I know this video is actually, like I said, a lot longer than my normal videos because this one's actually gone over 50 minutes. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Actually, don't mind doing a video this long. Normally, oh, just turn that down. Okay, look, there you go. Like, look, you know how some people will be like taking pictures of stuff in a kitchen and they're like, what's this thing in our picture? And then you're like, you'll see this mess. You know what it is? It's steam off of something. I'll debunk stuff sometimes. I love ghost hunting, but I'll debunk stuff sometimes. I have this wonderful EVP. I really do. I have this wonderful EVP on one of my devices that literally says, I said that to one of my friends. But hey, Philadelphia is haunted. Philadelphia is literally haunted, and that's when I used to live there. So, give it a knife and check this, and I will tell you the sausages are done. Oh, look at that, people. Sausage is done. The sausage is done. So, like I said, you know, as you notice, we did not need the oil in the pan. No extra saturated fat. Didn't need that saturated fat or oil in your pan. Let me put this over here on my friend's plate. Lately, and my friend Rocco. He's, he's noticed he's gotten himself into, and this is funny, um, buying fruits and vegetables now. And he blames me for it, but that's okay. So, I'm going to end this video. And I will say this on a positive note. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And of all things, stay positive. And I will see you next time right here on Charlene's Kitchen. Have a blessed day.